Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Trained by Luke and today we're going to talk about stretching. Stretching is one of the most important things in the gym and yet so many people are not doing it properly or even worse, don't do it at all. So let's make the record straight. It's very important to stretch and probably your follow-up question will be well when and how and all of that. Well, we're going to set it up today. You have to stretch before and after, okay? Uh, usually the sequence of events in the gym should be something like static stretching, maybe dynamic stretching or a warm-up, and then you hit the cardio for 10-15 minutes, then you go lift weights to your main course, what I call for the day in the gym, whatever that may be, then you go ahead, come back to the cardio, you know, blast it all out, and then at the end again, slightly stretching or maybe even SMR, which is suddenly a fascial release. So this is how a proper workout routine should look like. So today we're going to just cover the stretching parts. I'm going to, you know, inform you a little bit, give you some stretching ideas, and we're going to do some exercises, and you can kind of get an idea on how to do them properly and whatnot, and then we'll start from there. Um, that being said, just watch me carefully, watch how I pull the muscles, and again, I will teach you, feel your body. It takes time to get to know your body. It gets time to get the feel about it. So, that being said, let's get going. We're going to start from, from the neck, from it, and we're going to work all the way pretty much down. So we're going to just cover up, there's so many things you can do, there is also like a, a you know, specialist in stretching that you can actually have other person applies, you know, which is very common with gymnasts and um, other, other types of like athletes that have other people stretching them through the whole thing. But I'm going to just not get into it, I'm going to just give you some cool stuff so you can work in the gym. Um, that being said, let's get going. The first stretch I will go is your neck stretch. I will go something like this and just slightly apply pressure and gently push it. Everything you do in terms of stretching should be about 30 seconds. And then go ahead on the other side. Then you can also do it this way. So slightly forward and just pull from the back. And also you can do slight circles to get this neck moving. And it shouldn't take more than five to ten minutes, the whole stretching routine. Okay, now we'll go something like this, just a few times each way. Uh, usually this is very important and sensitive part of your body because most of the people most of the people, about 80 to 90 percent of the people, store their stress right in here, which creates additional tension. Besides, like the tension that you get from sitting all day on a desk or whatnot, or driving or whatever that may be. So it's very important to kind of like get this nice little, you know, this area moved a little bit. So let's go ahead with this. So basically, just pull it. And uh, again. And we're gonna go to the next stretch behind and just pull and just hold. And then obviously switch and pull again. So make sure you know you don't pull too much, you don't pull too much on the tricep on your shoulder, just slightly. Wherever it's, you know, wherever you feel comfortable. Then the next stretch will be behind, and we just go, ah, pull out. Just like that, then just hold. Push the chest out. One of the best stretches for your chest. The next one, for your sides, so you go this way. Mm. 
And to make it even more advanced, we can go ahead and even cross the legs. So, we can do the same thing with the legs crossed. And then obviously the midsection, we can just inhale, exhale and go down. And try to keep your legs as straight as possible. And also you can have them parallel, you can have them together. And obviously you can have them crossed. So, you can do slight stretching across the legs. Obviously, we're going to be bad if you go ahead and do a little bit of circle sweep. Mid section, kind of get it moving. Another weak part of our bodies, it's our core slash lower back. About 80% of people today in America have low back pain to some point in their life. And knowing that, you have to prevent yourself and protect yourself you know, from death happening to you one day. So let's go ahead with the legs. You could go ahead and hold yourself to something if your balance doesn't allow. If not, just go ahead and grab it. Grab your leg this way. You don't have to touch. You can also go ahead right away this way. Depends on your balance and you can even cross it this way. And you can just go down slightly. And then you hold. Obviously, I think it should be about 30 seconds. And then at the end, it's pretty much the calf muscles. You can go against the wall and just press. Or you can go back and just go down and just feel it. And then one of my favorite, you go this way and you just press and just go over. And then obviously we will go ahead and switch. And then as we go down, I'm gonna finish it up on the floor and we're gonna go with this stretch. Inhale, exhale, and then we're going to go ahead, switch again here, and then go ahead, again, inhale, exhale. And then hold for 30 seconds at least. And then the last stretch for today is the legs together. Again, feel your body. Not everybody will be same flexibility. Also important to know your body depends. Some people are naturally very limber and very flexible. Um, some people are surprisingly very, very uh, flexible upper body versus lower body. Meaning like some people are having much more flexible lower body and the upper body is kind of like stiff or vice versa. The upper body is very flexible, lower body is just really stiff. Most of the people, and you probably in that, um, in that category, it's like they're stiff um, in the midsection because of too much driving and sitting all the time on the chair and desks and stuff like that. And it's very important to know as I'm stretching right now with our last stretch, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, keep giving you more information, is to understand, to know your body. And you can also improve your flexibility. You know, specific foods improve your flexibility. Uh, water improves your flexibility. You're going to say, how? Well, keeps your joints hydrated. The more water you drink, you know, the more lubrication you have in your joints. So it's very important to all those factors actually, you know, it's, it's important to know and understand and implement 
so you can get ultimate flexibility. And again, as you get older, you know, flexibility changes uh, with your body. But uh, it's very important to know and understand how to prevent yourself. And if you just keep doing that, even this routine every day, it will really help you to stay flexible for a long, long time. So that being said, thank you for watching me. See you next episode. Bye.